Hello everyone and welcome to another news coolum video and another plug side chat. I rarely talk about plug-in hybrid electric vehicles because, well, I, I just think using an internal combustion engine at this point is unnecessary and wasteful for personal transportation. However, that being said, I do recognize that for economic reasons, for logistical reasons in terms of uh, construction output, plug-in hybrid electric vehicles are sort of a logical step to make in the transition away from using fossil fuels for personal transportation. With that, though, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Voltec platform that GM has used for the Volt and some information I've read about basically GM engineers saying that it's it's really difficult to scale up the Voltec platform to support vehicles like SUVs. So talking about like the new Blazer that GM is releasing in order to make a plug-in hybrid version of that they would need to scale up the power so you know the Voltec platform and the Volt is basically uh, and these numbers vary from what I've seen in first generation second generation but it's basically about 110 kilowatt electric motor with about a 55 kilowatt generator motor that's paired to an internal combustion engine that can produce about 60 horsepower or whatever to, to run the generator essentially and then sometimes it will pair to help drive the the drive wheels but that's not really the technical aspect of this that I wanted to discuss uh, the idea is that for a Volt or a car like the Volt which is a very efficient design very aerodynamic that power plant works right the Voltec works because you can do a sustained basically 50 to 60 kilowatt draw and it will just run off the internal combustion engine vehicle and you'd really never run the battery down because the battery is really not being discharged faster than the generator is able to generate electricity now by contrast, something like the i3, where its range extender only produces around 20 kilowatts, well, that's not really even enough to maintain fast highway speeds in an i3, uh, which is why when you're only running on the range extender, you do have some limitations in the i3. You don't have that in the Volt uh, with the Voltec platform. And I think GM, their intent it sounds like is to make sure that you don't have those limitations in something like a blazer if you had a plug-in hybrid electric blazer well while the volt maybe takes 20 to 25 kilowatts of sustained draw to maintain highway speeds on a flat ground or maybe a sustained draw of 50 to 60 kilowatts if you're going up a long mountain pass well the blazer could be double that, uh, especially when you start talking about cargo capacity and weight, and if people are wanting to tow trailers and you have accessories, all of a sudden you're talking about this massive amount of power, maybe 40, 50 kilowatts, 60 kilowatts, just to maintain highway speeds in normal conditions. What GM is trying to do is scale up the Voltec platform so it can support that. And what I'm concerned with is if there's not enough outside of the box thinking, because with an internal combustion engine, what people think about is mechanical power, where they're not necessarily thinking about energy. And an internal combustion engine, you know, even if you were to scale up the engine in the Volt to produce 100 horsepower, well, you're still leaving. 200 kilowatts worth of energy typically blowing out the exhaust in the form of thermal losses and force in from the the gas exhaust and emissions and that's a lot of energy that you're leaving on the table basically two-thirds of the energy in a gallon of gasoline is it's just wasted i would recommend that gm not think of scaling up power especially in something like a Voltec platform, just in terms of the mechanical power. There are 
some devices that have been created for those of you who maybe tried to modify your gasoline powered vehicle to maximize fuel efficiency, you'll know that you could add about 10% fuel efficiency to your gas powered vehicle just by pulling the alternator. Some people were doing so, so extreme as they pull the belt to the alternator, use a deep cycle 12 volt battery. And at the end of the day, they would pull the battery and plug it into a wall charger every night. So they'd have a full 12 volt battery in the morning and it was saving them about 10% fuel economy. A device had been created that ran off the same principle as a turbocharger. It's called a Tigers. And essentially it's a switch reluctance motor that's hooked up to what's essentially a turbocharger turbine being fed off of the exhaust. Now they sized it for six kilowatts, which is essentially what you would use to replace an alternator. You wouldn't need more power than that. But that's not saying that the exhaust isn't producing or releasing more power than that. And something like a Volt platform could easily use double, triple, quadruple that much power. Now, I don't know how much exactly the maximum you could scour off the exhaust would be, but it would be worth considering because if GM could integrate something like that Tiger's exhaust uh, generator into a Voltec platform, they could easily add 10, 15, 20 kilowatts without having to up the power of the internal combustion engine at all. So essentially what you would see is this massive 10, 20, 30 percent increase in fuel economy when running off of gasoline. And that Voltec platform could see a 20, 30 percent increase in power that might be enough to be sufficient to run something like an SUV Voltec system. And that's only one possibility, right? You could do something like a steam turbine with heat recovery uh, generation. There are alternate methods. Uh, some diesel tractor trailer engines have been able to produce as much as 60% efficiency burning diesel using a heat recovery steam generation system in tandem with the diesel engine. So these are possibilities. And I would recommend that if GM is having difficulty scaling up the power of the Voltec system to match SUV requirements or pickup truck requirements, maybe they or some other automakers should try to think outside the box a little bit and think about scaling up the energy output, not necessarily the mechanical power output of the range extenders that they're using in these plug-in hybrid electric vehicles. I'd love to hear what you think. Uh, have you used a Tiger system before or have you uh, messed with any of the exhaust uh, port type power outputs? Do you think this is a crazy idea? It may be GM or Ford or others who are working on plug-in hybrids are already doing something like this. I included a link to the Tiger System article. I believe it was Green Car Congress uh, below. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And uh, thank you for watching.